Ghana political space is a bit saturated and it is very difficult to break barriers without any affiliation with the two main leading political parties, which is the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress. Since the beginning of the Fourth Republic, Ghanaians have selected leaders based on partisanship, favoritism, tribalism, and political affiliations. This has somehow affected the country's success story when it comes to development. People have been programmed not to care too much about political party manifestos and policies. Actually, few people consider manifestos and policies when it comes to selecting leaders in Ghana. There is one thing that Ghanaians also consider a lot when they are choosing leaders. And that is personalities. Yes, personalities. Now, that brings me to the main topic of the day, which is, is Ghana ready for a no-nonsense leader? Is Ghana ready for a no-nonsense leader? This question can be well understood by mostly Ghanaians. In Ghana, we judge people's character based on their personalities. You can have a horrible character, but if you can brand yourself and present yourself as a God-fearing person, and a man of few words, people can relate to you because they will think you are a very respectful man who can easily handle the affairs of the country. You can have a very good character, but if you present yourself as a no-nonsense man, very direct, efficient, and quite tough, you are going to be described as arrogant, which means you can plunge the country into conflict if you are giving the note. Most of the time, People can't separate a branded personality from an individual or character. But you can't blame anyone because people only believe in what they see. The 2024 Ghana general election will present Ghanaians with another opportunity to elect a new leader who will steer the country's affair for the next four years. The main opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, has already selected Mr. John Dramani Mahama, who has already tasted the presidency from 2012 to 2016, after his boss, Professor Evans Atameos, passed away. On the other hand, the new patriotic party, which is the government in power, has yet to select its candidate, but they have been able to nail it down to just two strong candidates, which is the current vice president, Alaji Mahmoud Baumia, and Kennedy Oheni Ejapon, who is one of the controversial member of parliament who decided to stand as the party candidate because he believes his own party has filled the country, especially the youth. Between these three candidates, only Kennedy or Hine Japan who has not tasted a higher office in Ghana so far, the National Democratic Congress candidate has tasted the presidency and Alaji Mahoud Mahomia is the current vice president. So somehow we have experienced their leadership and that will influence many Ghanaians to select who they think can perform well when given the opportunity. So far, between the two candidates competing for the new patriotic party slot, the majority of Ghanaians seems to be leaning towards Kennedy Ohine e Japan because they think Alaji Mahoud Baumia has nothing to offer Ghanaians after his government has sent the country back to IMF and the country's economies as we speak is in tatters. Most Ghanaians think if the new patriotic party does give Baumia the candidacy to lead the party in 2024 general election, then maybe the party no longer want to rule the country and want to go back to opposition. But if they give Kennedy a chance, they may reconsider maintaining the current government because Ghanaians think Kennedy or Hina Japan is singing their music and preaching their gospel, which is creating jobs for the youth, installing discipline in the country's institution, and making sure corruption is eradicated. But on the other hand, some Ghanaians think Kennedy or Hine Japan will be a ruthless and autocratic leader if he gets the chance to lead the country, and he is also affiliated with the current government, and there is nothing he can achieve by himself because he will be surrounded by the same corrupt government officials who are staring the country into bankruptcy. Now here is my opinion. Between Kennedy Ohine Japan and Alaji Mahoud Baumia, I think Kennedy Ohine Japan stands a chance of retaining the new patriotic party in power because he represents something new, something that Ghanaians have not experienced for a while. I think Kennedy has a similar trait to the late President Jerry John Rawlings, with whom Ghanaians fell in love 
all over again after he retired as president in 2001. Kennedy is a successful businessman and I think he will be more suited for the current unemployment pandemic Ghana is facing. Ghanaian should relegate the idea of him being ruthless and autocratic. As a stand now, Ghana actually needs a bold and efficient leader who can change the future of the country. But all this can happen if the new patriotic party doesn't go the traditional way and decide to pull up the U.S. Republican move that gave Donald Trump the slot to rule the country. Let us wait and see what happened in November in the new patriotic party primaries so that I can bring you more accurate analysis on the road of choosing Ghana's new leader in 2024. I'm always your guy, DeGraft Amwakon. Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I will upload any great content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.